As I'm sure everybody is aware by now, Newsmax was officially dropped by DirecTV this week after the two parties were unable to come to an agreement on the new carrier contract for Newsmax. According to AT&T, Newsmax simply wanted too much money from DirecTV when they're also offering all of their content for free on other platforms. So AT&T owner of DirecTV said, this makes no sense. Why are we going to pay you more when you're literally giving it away for free? Newsmax CEO, uh, Christopher Ruddy said, nope, that's totally not true. Instead we're being deplatformed, but nobody, nobody was angrier about this decision, of course, than Donald Trump himself. So he went on truth social and raged like a lunatic about Newsmax losing their contract with direct TV. Here's what he said. Wow. AT&T direct TV removes Newsmax from its channel lineup. This disgusting moves come comes after the deplatforming one America news last year. The radical left seems to have taken over the mind and soul of AT&T. This is a big blow to the Republican party and to America itself. For DirecTV to drop very popular Newsmax without explanation will not be accepted. I, for one, will be dropping all association with AT&T and DirecTV, and I have plenty. This is just one of many reasons why we must win in 2024. <sighs> so much wrong in that one statement. All right, let's start with, with no explanation. AT&T has made it very clear multiple times in multiple different interviews that, uh, Newsmax wanted too much money and they weren't going to pay it while Newsmax was giving away all of their content for free on other platforms, including YouTube. That doesn't make any sense. That would be a bad business deal. Like, okay, we're going to give you tons of money, millions of dollars so that we can have your content. But at the same time, you're giving this content for free for everybody. So they don't have to subscribe to direct TV to get it. We're going to lose people because they can go somewhere else. Why would we want that deal? That makes no sense for us. So AT&T has explained it. And I think that's a pretty dang good explanation. The other part, of course, I have many, many connections with direct TV. Oh, I'm sure you do. I'm sure that's probably your preferred carrier in your golf resorts, but guess what? A couple, you know, handful of country clubs that have direct TV access. That's not exactly going to hurt them when you drop them. In fact, direct TV has actually lost 50% of its subscribers since Newsmax even joined them. So honestly for Newsmax, this isn't even a blow like direct TV is dying because streaming is becoming so popular. So Newsmax ought to just cut and run and be like, whatever, you don't want to carry us. That's fine. We're getting more audience online. We're getting more audience through these other streaming services. We don't need you. You need us. But at the same time, since you have the Newsmax CEO and the former president out there accusing you of some kind of wrongdoing, Go ahead and release the negotiations, right? I'm sure you've got emails. I'm sure you've got contracts. I'm sure you've got demands from lawyers. Make them public. If DirecTV, AT&T, if you want to clear your name in this, release all of it. Let the public see for themselves what happened. You know, shut these conservatives up before they keep whining about this for the next month. And for the record, uh, as I discussed over at Ring of Fire yesterday, um, News, uh, Newsmax has now been replaced on direct TV's lineup with a channel. That's even worse. It's called the first and their signature host is uh, Bill O'Reilly, the disgraced Fox news host. So conservative media is not going anywhere on direct TV. It's just coming in a different package with somehow even worse people than what you found on Newsmax. But I think Donald Trump's real problem here is the fact that Newsmax was one of the only networks on satellite providers that actually carried his rallies, um, without interruption. So he's going to lose that, which is going to hurt him, but his claim that it's going to hurt America. No, if anything, this country would be better with fewer conspiracy riddled lying conservative networks out there on direct TV, but we don't even get that. Cause as I said, 
They've just turned around and replaced it with something far worse than Newsmax could ever even hope to be. Hi everyone, this here is little Athena, and Athena would like to know why you haven't subscribed to Fair and Balanced yet, so please don't let Athena down. Subscribe today.